here we are concluding week two i hope you people enjoyed the most important parts of python the syntax uh, per se beyond this you know we'll be covering the syntax very quickly and we'll be talking only about programs in the first two three weeks we'll be talking a lot about the uh, the constructs of the language the grammar of the language if i may All right so things are slightly less interesting but it will get more interesting with time but i'm sure in week two you saw some interesting aspects as well you saw how do you declare variables the buckets example that i started off with in the introduction uh, session of week two you saw the if loop how powerful it was you even wrote a program for caesar cipher the cipher that takes the, the idea that takes text and shifts it by a few units and then it, it looks garbled nobody can make sense of what the text is but then if you shift it back it starts making sense and you wrote a piece of code to do this so and then we went ahead and saw some string related details very basic ones though strings are very very powerful entities in python and we'll be discussing more of it with time but as of now you are now confident about handling strings and finally and very importantly we did discuss about this import possibility in python and i told you a good example a good analogy would be to going to a library and getting books as and when it's required and not storing all the books that you would ever require in your life in your home right you, you will run out of storage space obviously so what you do is you get as and when it's required and that is precisely what the import functionality does in python you say import random it brings in the library functions from this book so called book called the function called random it's actually a library function right once you get that it means that you have the entire uh, you know access to all the functions from this random library and the world is yours right if you don't include it you don't have access to those libraries as simple as that so we introduced you to uh, the random function the math library function and i'm sure you're comfortable using these library functions there are there are tons and tons of library functions some of them are built into python some of them are external you need to install that on your computer and start coding you want to analyze facebook data you want to analyze twitter data you want to analyze let's say covid statistics there are library functions exclusively meant for these things and we will probably see some of them during the course i hope you enjoyed second week uh, there is more to come from third week onwards in fact third week will be the crux of the syntax in python let's wait and watch what's coming next thank you